welcome back to my channel success engineering official today we are going to start the water supply as you can see this is our two storage commercial office building so we have done the single line drawing for the drainage system as well as double line drawing shop drawing for the drainage system okay so today we are going to start the water supply in the same building so for the water supply first of all we need to calculate the tank sizing so first of all we have to calculate the tank sizing so i will use this simple excel sheet to calculate the tank size okay so i have already made the video for tank sizing calculation with uh, using same excel sheet but uh, the difference is uh, i have made the video for the five story commercial office for the Bahrain project and uh, I will keep the link for that video in the description box so, do, uh, so please go and watch that video so you can uh, learn the complete concept for the 5 stories building water tank sizing and for our project we have to calculate the water tank sizing the, the, the procedure is similar only the difference is the number of floors okay so uh, i will remove this okay i will remove this okay i will remove this and uh, simply delete this one also this one okay okay and simply enter our uh, this is a ground floor layout of this building so I start from here enter our uh, space name there so planning office all our office actually so we need to calculate the area for each office okay and then uh, this is simple first of all you have to enter here planning okay planning then translator it office translator it office all our office actually IT office then server room is not required here telecom room not office electrical room transformer room here is technical department sales department technical department sales department meeting room then reception meeting room then reception security then HR office security office Chair office okay simply enter all the office space names then here technical manager and here is production in charge technical manager production in charge in charge and these are ground floor okay so i will simply highlight this in red color because this is uh, for the ground floor and then we will move uh, to the first floor accounts procurement translator marketing here accounts procurement
translator transport and marketing transport in marketing then next one is admin manager secretary's advisor admin manager secretary advisor okay then gm office then private room then conference room gm office private room conference finance department technical manager finance tech manager next one is commercial manager then secretary ok commercial manager Okay, so these are uh, our uh, first floor and these are ground floor. So simply write here the area. So first of all, you have to calculate the area. I will show you for the one domain remaining you need to calculate. Okay, so type A here area is not given. So how to calculate in the AutoCAD type A. Okay, and then you can see here in the command bar add area is showing A. So enter add area and then a specify the corner uh, point or object. Okay, so specify the corner point ok then enter so you can see here 24 uh, this is in uh, in mm mm square meter so divided by <coughs> 1000 to the power 6 so you can see here 24 square meter okay so this area is 24 square meter 25 for example okay and remaining for the remaining space you have to calculate uh, as it is okay so I am, I am going to skip this how to calculate the area I am just assuming because it will take time to calculate the area for all the spaces I just assuming here yes, so for example here 20 square meter office is uh, 30 square meter okay then 24 then 20 then 30, 20 again then 35 30 then 40 30 again then here is 25 meeting room is uh, 40 okay production in charge is 30 ok then accounts is 20 procurement 25 transport 25 then marketing is 25 admin manager 30 secretary 20 advisor 30 gm office 30 then private is 20 then conference room 40 then 30 then again 20 here is 30 okay I am just assuming this area then here number of number of occupants is nothing but 10 square meter per uh, person as per the NBC okay so NBC 2016 national building codes 10 square meter uh, per person we are uh, considering and is given in the NBC national building code 
okay so simply divide this area by 10 so you will get the number of uh, occupant is nothing but the number of person okay so here I get the uh, number of person and here is visitor 10% uh, for this so simply add this all if you drop like this then you will see here sum okay here sum is 654 so 10% for this is 65 The number of occupant is 65 okay 10% for this area okay 65 and here in the second column you can see this is domestic water demand per capita liter per day per person 25 liter per day per person required for domestic water for office building is also taken from NBC okay national building codes or as per the Diva standard also 25 25 liter per day per person LPD is nothing but the liter per day per person okay liter per day and per person 25 and for the flush water tank the flush water demand is per capita liter per day per person is 20 so here is the total is nothing but the total domestic flush flush water I simple adding added here and then here total domestic required is simply multiply this domestic water per day per person into number of people into quantity of office so we are getting here total domestic water here okay and total flush water here is nothing but simply multiply with number of total demand uh, per day per person for the flushing and number of people into into quantity here is nothing but the quantity okay, okay so for the visitors we are taking actually 10 percent for number of occupants so check the here now total number of occupant for both the floors 65 so 10 percent for the 65 is into 10 percent 6.5 to 7 here assuming number of occupants 7 there is nothing but the 10 percent for the all okay and uh, domestic water for the visitors required is 10 liter per day per person and for the flushing 5 liter so here is Okay, so here is the total domestic plus plus is total added actually here okay and then total domestic uh, required liter per day per person is nothing but the only only multiply with number of peoples into number of uh, rooms office okay and total plus is also the same and here is total water required domestic plus plus is nothing but the addition of these two domestic water plus plus water and uh, after that uh, I added here you can see here total domestic uh, water here is uh, 1635 liter per day per person okay liter per day here in the simply multiply the say in kiloliter how to convert it so divided by 1000 so 1635 divided by 1000 1.6 kiloliter per day okay so simply edit this 1.6 kiloliter per day and total flush is 1.3 kiloliter divided by 1000 okay so 1.3 and here is a total water domestic plus plus 2.9 kiloliter Point nine. 2.9 kiloliter kiloliter 
okay and then domestic water uh, underground water tank sizing is the size for the 1.5 days okay so here you can see here I have simply multiplied this domestic uh, total domestic uh, water required per day into 1.5 this is in liters so simply divided by 1000 so it will convert into this cubic meter okay so 2.45 cubic meter I have already divided here with the 1000 so it converted into cubic liter okay and then here uh, optional is domestic overhead um, over tank sizing in liters so here is in liters is uh, size for the half day uh, actually so total domestic water required uh, divided by 2 is nothing but half day so you can see a total domestic water is uh, 1635 and for the half day is 0.5 or divided by 2 okay so 817 liters divided by 1000 so you will get in cubic meter okay and then for the flush uh, tank sizing in liters 1308 okay uh, is size for the one day so you can see here 1308 already here for the flush water demand so 1308 liters and uh, simply divided it and divided this value into 1000 by 1000 so you will get in cubic meter so you can see here 1.3 cubic meter and uh, for the flush water over it over it tank sizing in liters is again for the half days so divided the this value by 2 or multiply into 0.5 and here is the in cubic meter so this is a how we already got here the tank sizing so in the next tutorial guys we will simple write this tank size and put it here in our drawing we will select one location and place the tank size domestic quarter tank size then we will start the piping this water supply piping for this flushing as well as for the shower and drinking okay shower and for this flushing as well as for this wash basin okay cold water and hot water cold water and flush to the flushing water okay so this is the first step actually for the water supply just to calculate the all the water tank sizing domestic water tank sizing as well as overhead water tank size so we have to take this sizing and put it here in our drawing then we will start the water supply pipe sizing okay so i think you guys learn how to calculate the water tank size uh, i will uh, upload this excel sheet so you can download easily from this uh, drive and uh, also i will give the link for the my previous video how to calculate the water tank size for the five stories building so i think you guys learn something from this video so click please keep watching my video and if you still not yet subscribe my channel so please do, do subscribing and hit the bell icon as well so that you can get the notification of my upcoming videos so i uh, please take care and uh, have a nice day bye bye